Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the 13th Ghost is an animated film from 2019. This is directed by Cecilia Aranovich. Um, this is actually, and I didn't realise this until I started watching it, this is actually a continuation from the series Scooby-Doo and the 13 Ghosts. And I'd never seen that. And apparently that's actually an unfinished story, and this is to conclude the tale. And I guess there are two ways of looking at this. Did I enjoy this? And would it have made a difference if I'd seen that series? I will at some point watch that series. And I can honestly say I didn't love this. There were some things about it that I liked, and I'll talk about those in a moment. But I am willing to admit that maybe I would have had a better experience had I seen that series. So that's just something worth bearing in mind. This is about, well, it's about Scooby and the gang trying to track down a 13th ghost because they weren't able to do so in the TV series I, because I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's because they weren't able to within that series for whatever reason or if the series was actually incomplete, if they never got round to writing a final episode. If anybody can confirm either way, please feel free to let me know. But honestly, the ghost aspect of this I found to be very boring, not very interesting. Visually, it didn't look the way that I wanted it to. It's more of a story of demons rather than your classic ghosts. And I watched this because I was in the mood for a ghost story. So that's kind of not what I was given. Had I seen the TV series again, maybe I would have been prepared for that. So the actual villain aspect or the monster aspect, it was okay. Maybe not what I'd expected. I don't necessarily think the setting, we're in the Himalayas for some of this, goes well with... The, the monster aspect, I don't think those two fit together very well. And I didn't really love it. I just don't think the various aspects of the, the narrative slotted together well. It felt very disconnected. It felt like there were different stories trying to pull together. They wanted to tell this tale, but they wanted to use this setting. And again, based purely on this film, I don't think it worked very well. But again, if I'd seen the series, maybe I would feel differently about that. I also didn't love Daphne's face. I don't know why it's only Daphne, but the animation of her face seems incomplete, almost. And I don't know why I feel that about Daphne, because I didn't get that with any of the other characters. So I didn't love some of the animation style either. However, there were actually some bits of animation that I really did enjoy. I was looking at the character of Vincent Van Gogh and I was thinking, you look an awful lot like Vincent Price. And I thought, I wonder if this character is inspired by Vincent Price. So I googled it. Turns out Vincent Price actually voiced the character of Vincent Van Gogh in the series. So that was pretty cool. The character is voiced by Maurice LaMarche here. We have a great voice cast, including Frank Welker, Greg Griffin, and, and many others. And... The actual animation of the other characters, really enjoyed, no problems there. The animation of the settings, the backdrops, everything looked great. I didn't love the setting, I don't think it worked very well with a lot of the narrative, but visually it did look good. With regards to the pacing of the film, it was absolutely fine. I, I was able to understand what was going on. Once I realised it was a continuation of the TV series, I did worry that I wouldn't be able to fully follow everything, that it would depend on prior knowledge or experience with the series. But I can confirm that that's not necessary. It is easy to follow everything. My experience might have been enhanced had I seen the series, but you don't need to have seen it to watch it. So to sum up, very disjointed thoughts. Some of it is good, some of it is not so good. Some of the animation is good, some of the animation is not so good. It's a very up and down roller coaster kind of film. I would not say I came away from this having thoroughly enjoyed it, but I also would say that it's not a terrible film. There's enough in it to make it a relatively decent watch if you're a Scooby-Doo fan. Again, I will admit that maybe it would be a better watch if I had seen the series. Of course, it could be a worse experience if I'd seen the series because I might have gone into it with certain expectations or wanting certain things out of it that weren't delivered. I'd love to know what you think of it, but particularly if you've seen the series. Is it better? Is it worse? Should it not have existed at all? Sometimes that is the case when they try and reignite a series or finish a story or do a sequel. But personally, having watched this without seeing the series, I enjoyed it enough. I didn't love it. But if you're a fan of Scooby, then I'd say it's worth watching. 